guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episodes 5 and 6 of Summertime Rendering. Yes, it is Friday. It is. It is 10.35 at night. Today was the only day with the hellish schedule I had of coming back from vacation and going back to work for... By the time it comes out tomorrow, I, I should be on day 3 by Sunday. Is that because I'll be off tomorrow? But yeah. We're gonna get this shit done because I am tired. I still got one other thing to do after I'm done with this and the other show. But we're gonna get it all done tonight. I might not go to bed until the wee hours of the morning, but that is okay. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode five and three, two, one. Hold on. Three, two, one, go. Once again, I'm using the commie subs. <laughs> What you mean by that? <laughs> uh oh. I mean, yes, yeah, she got shot. So, yeah, did you think she was going to be gone? I mean, oh. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. You uh, what? Oh. You're the Arthur. Who? <laughs> wait, wait, hold up, my girl. Time out. How you know his name? How you know Shin's name? What What are we doing now? All right, hold up. Now y'all doing heroes. First it was freaking Harper's Island, then Pretty Little Liars, and now we're going into heroes. And now I'm gonna hear like something that's similar to Save the Cheerleader, Save the World. What are we doing, Cho? What are we doing? Where are we going from here? That's all I need to know. It's ten o'clock at night, and I'm sleepy. I've been sleepy ever since I got home. What are we doing? And I'm supposed to get home at five o'clock, but I got home at like almost. Eight. Technically, really, seven going on eight. Yeah. And I wanted to have this done. Like, it, okay. Here, here's the thing. You know how, like, when you have a plan or think something's scheduled in motion and you're like, this is what I'm going to do when I get home. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going to come home. I'm going to spend two hours recording this. And then the one other thing that I got to do for my patrons and such. So this at all can come out tomorrow. And then when you're right, you're about to get off and your mom texts you like a little, like, what, 10, 15 minutes before you're about to get off your, your shift. She tells you, oh, hey, we're going to go to Walmart. We go to Walmart. We're in Walmart for about a good hour. Then we go to Publix. We're in pu she's in Publix for a couple, like about almost 6, 6, 6 30. You come home at 7 o'clock and you're tired as fuck. And you eat dinner. How's your day going? The shadow shouldn't? Oh. 
Now, she's going after Shadow Shin as of right now because of that situation that happened in the previous episode. Okay, hold up. Let me let me ask you. She has just a dead. L. I mean, I understand Shin, but why are you being targeted by that? I mean, well, no, because probably your research or whatever. Mm -hmm, yeah. That too. God damn it. Yes, but we can't kill everybody. She gives me hella Claire Redfield vibes, and I honestly love it because Claire Redfield is my favorite character from Runes and Evil. Just saying. Okay. What the fuck happened? Oh my god, is it no <gasps> Dang him. the fuck? What is that? I know that's a shadow, but how? It's got to be at least like 30 to even more. Maybe 60. I'm like, Hold up. She's a. Uh, but that's the shadow though. Mia.
Oh shit, she just got in more. Oh, she only got one bullet left. Take the shot, don't hesitate. So would that be considered mother? Please do not burn him. I swear to God. It's right eye. What? I mean, we can't sacrifice Shadow Shin's eye. Mm -mm. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, God. One of them is dying. Holy shit. If only she was... If she came a little bit more and... Oh, damn. Wasn't in that ring of fire, she would have been fine. The fuck is that? That's mother? I have so many questions right now. What? This is episode five. I was expecting this to be like 24, 25 for this show. Where something like this will be happening on episode 5. Then what the heck is going to happen by episode 23, 24? All y'all about to die. 
I feel bad for all of them. They, they don't even know it. They don't know it. Jesus Christ, it got all the way over there already. Lord. See, you know what? what? <laughs> That's why I'm like, get away. Maybe we need to move. Let's move. What the hell? Yeah, let's move. <laughs> But it's avoiding her. Mm. My thing is, why hasn't it taken Shin yet? It, are they literally waiting like last minute to take Shin? So let Shin be the very last human that they eat. Damn, we about to watch her die again. course yeah so he can go back in time And see, there's still something special about Ushino because she we know that she's dead, but her shadow is completely different from everyone else. Damn. Blew his head off like it was fucking nothing. The whole freaking town became a fucking ghost town. A yo sheet. Mm -mm. Okay, where we at now? Alright, so we're back on the 22nd. 
He's already off the, ch the the boat. Okay, good. Yeah, remember, you fell in the water. Yeah, you fell in the water instead of her. Damn, we almost done with the episode. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. You have to. I just back much earlier. Something about that's different now with the fact is that she's here on July 22nd. And not the day of the, the night of the festival. Alright. Where we going show? Once again. Where the fuck we going? What are we doing now? I mean. Bruh. Okay. How is he going to solve this? How is he going to keep everybody alive? Because right now that seemed a little inhumanly possible to my ass. Mm-mm. 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 No, what are we doing? Where are we going from this? Okay, mother. I have questions on her. Like, all right. What basically happened to her to, for, to have her miss her eye and now that her missing eye is in shin? There, there's, she's, she's, I cannot speak. She's super mysterious. She's probably now one of the newest characters who has the most bit of, like, inquiry slash information. But because of the fact that she's still so brand new. And, to well, to me. Um, there's nothing I can really go off of. She, she see, of course, she is, like, a big bad. Because I'm guessing she's the, she's the one who's going to engulf the whole entire island for herself. But... It, it's really fucked up that, like, Shin, he comes up. And... Don't we get our hearts. Everything was not okay in that moment after um, his favorite Arthur just saved the shit out of him. And they're running up the stairs just to see what happened and such. And seeing everything of what the freak just happened. All those people dying, even though we didn't get to see that, but a big-ass explosion. So them all dying instantly. Um, so it makes you wonder, who was the big behind looking shadow hiding behind? Was it Mio? What, was it hiding behind? What's her face? The girl who got killed in the back of the head? Um, her, her brother who got killed by himself with an axe? They're, they're like, 
Oh, <laughs> what? When? Where? Why? Like, bruh. Oh my god. Mm mm. Mm mm. What? This show. This show. This show be fucking with my brain. Like, see, and it's so funny because ever since we started this show, I be at work. I be having, a, like, you know, you know how people have, like, inner monologues and shit? I be having inner monologues about this damn show, wondering about what the fuck gonna happen next. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna watch that tonight. What the hell happened next tonight? What what the heck is happening now? How is this show going to, you know, be outdo itself this time? Because it feels like every single week, five episodes in, going on six in a couple of minutes, this show outdoes itself. Where are we going? Once again, where, what are we doing? What are we doing, show? Because, like, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying that in a really good way because this is really good. Um, I don't know if this got, like, to be you know, maybe anime of the season for a lot of people, or if it was hella underrated, because it kind of gives me underrated vibes, where it was like, oh, hey, the underdog of whatever was popular, or this had to be hella popular, I don't fucking know. I know that it's getting, like, um, a visual novel game and a whole bunch of other stuff for it. So I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got a lot of money from this. Damn. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Alright, episode 6 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. The fact that she knew from the get-go. Oh. Once again, the one one of many times where I'm like, skip the opening. Skip it. Let's go past this. I don't need this. I don't want this right now. I just want to, you know, I want to know more. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so tired. <sighs> See, she's just acting literally like her character from Danganronpa as well, and I fucking love it. I'm fucking here for it. This, <laughs> this is Kyoko Kitty like the queen, the effing queen. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Here on business. No. Hmm? Your sister. So then 14 years ago, someone else died because of the shadows. So, once again, was it because of her sister? I mean, damn, she just go ahead up and leave. Like, hold up, once again, I have business to attend to. Now, is she saying the reason why she can't meet him and trust him is because of the death leading? To not only her, but to everyone on the island. Listen to Kyoko Kitty Kitty. She is smart bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, hold up, babe. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You can't do that. So that nurse is now a shadow as well. Hey, y'all better look at that little girl. Look at that little girl! Uh 
I mean, you know, hell, she wanted to get away. Her sister died 14 years ago. You think someone want to come back 14 years later after they sister a family member died? Mm -mm. So she disappears tomorrow. What the fuck? Oh my god. Mm hmm. All three of them are. So that's who you were talking to. I knew. Don't be suspicious. You can't act. You gotta act normal with them.
because you're not here. Okay, hold up, because dad ain't dead yet, so now why are we making, uh, are we killing dad by the end of this episode? See, this show going, one minute, next minute. <laughs> no. Now I'm looking at dad a certain type of way right now. Don't go by yourself. Take a friend. Take a friend. He about to get killed in the bathroom. But she was right to give her her other phone away. They proven if he's a shadow or not. So
Oh my god, we don't have time. Yet she made time out to sign. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you did, you just don't remember. <clears throat> Basically. Okay, so here's one thing I'm kind of thinking. Like, let, let's let say our little Arthur, when her sister died, what if she also became a time traveler too, as well? I, I'm not 100% sure on that, though, but the fact is that she, you know, is telling him, like, oh, hey, like, you know, giving all the right answers for Shin, and then saying, yeah, you're a time traveler. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The fact is that her friend, her husband, are officially dead, dead. There is no, there is no saving them. Like, there, no. Shin can't go back in time to the day before he came back to the island to save Ushino and Mio and that little girl. There's no way. Now, unless they do something that contracts is with that, that that's fucking with time and space and everything. You can't do that. That's why the same thing like with the shadow thing. Because like, th this is something I also was wondering, especially, okay, with Alan almost about to get killed in the bathroom. And I'm like, huh, is it okay for a shadow version and a regular, the actual person to coexist um, in the same time? Which, yeah, I'm guessing it is okay unless one of them dies. And that's still fine because, you know, the shadow is going around as the other person. Hence, what's her face's family? They all dead, and they walk, and the shadows walking around like they them, bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am thirsty. I need something to drink. <laughs> I, I mean, still, we're six episodes in, and this show can go any freaking way. We're not even at the halfway point. I think by episode twelve, we'll officially be at the halfway point. But boy, were these two episodes good. I feel like episode five was a little bit better than episode six. Episode six just felt like a, here, here's the same thing again, but here's new things. And I'm not mad at that. It's just the way how episode five ended, I'm just like, damn, like, how the fuck are we going to go from here? But of course, we have to have that calm before the storm type episode again before that shit gets real type moment. Um, But yeah fucking enjoyed it but other than that guys that is my reaction to episodes five and six of summertime Rem rendering if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day to the master squad and of course i will see you guys all officially monday for <laughs> everyone else and next saturday for patreons for episodes seven and eight bcw i'm probably going to do something stupid this weekend so even though i have to work on sunday um, I'm probably going to be smart, um, and watch the next two episodes of both this and, um, Love After World Domination, um, because I can't really do it on Wednesday because I have to go to an appointment for my job and such, and I'm going to probably be busy for the rest of the day, so I think that is the goal, plus to the fact is if I do it on Sunday... I can literally have a free week of not having to worry about shit since I'm already fully caught up on JoJo and everything else that I had to do that was like in my miscellaneous of you need to watch this t-shirt. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.